This is a Total Healing audiobook. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Unlock your full potential audiobook so you can attract all you desire. Written and read by Heather Woods, Mindset and Spiritual Life Coach. Chapter 7. Pitfalls are part of the process. When you start a new life-changing journey, there are bound to be some pitfalls. These are part of the process of changing and growing. No process or change can be accomplished without pitfalls. Preparing for them from the beginning can ensure that you don't get stuck when they happen. If you are expecting them, you can make a game plan. Mistakes and pitfalls are a part of life and cannot be avoided. Remember that pitfalls can either burden you or they can motivate you to move forward. Remember that you cannot undo or redo past mistakes. You just need to learn to live with them and move on. This, of course, is easier said than done. Understand the pitfalls. When you encounter a pitfall, regret can cause you to feel bad and constantly have thoughts about everything you can do better. This is not a good way to live. You can regret both the things you did do and the things that you didn't do. Try to identify where the pitfall and the regret are coming from. This will allow you to move on easier. You also need to understand your rationale behind the decision that you made or didn't make. Knowing why you did something will allow you to not make the same mistakes in the future. Grieve for a short time after pitfalls. Before immediately moving on from a pitfall, take a short time to grieve. Before you can accept the mistake or the wrong that happened, You need to grieve the regrets and prepare for the change that is coming your way. If you encounter a pitfall that seems like you can't overcome or move past, consider reaching out to friends or family for support. If the pitfall was your wrongdoing, you can also apologize to the person that you might have wronged. If the pitfall isn't your fault, try to forgive the other person and begin to take steps to move forward. Make sure you demonstrate to the other person that he or she hurt you and explain to them that you can't have them around your process if they will continue to cause pitfalls. Make sure you are always expressing your negative emotions in a positive way so that you can move past them sooner. If you don't express your feelings, you will just end up holding them in and it will make it harder for you to move on. Accept the pitfall as is. Don't try to change the pitfall or make a difference after it has happened. This never works. If you don't accept the pitfall as it is, then you won't be able to move on in a timely manner. You will be stuck in the same spot until you accept the pitfall or your problems, issues, circumstances at hand, which can take a long time if you don't do it from the beginning. You have no other choice but to accept what has happened. While this is always easier said than done, you still want to make sure that you try your best at acceptance. You won't always be able to completely let go of your consequences, but you can stop obsessing over them. Learn from the pitfall. Once you have experienced a pitfall, you need to learn from the mistakes that got you there so you can move on. Avoid the behavior or decision that brought you to the mistake in the first place. There is also a lesson to learn when it comes to pitfalls and unwanted consequences. 
Sit down with your journal or your vision board that you made earlier as part of the process and think about how that pitfall could be avoided. Make detailed notes and make sure that you have a plan in place to ensure that it never happens again. Be deliberate and active when it comes to learning from your pitfalls. If you sit idle for too long, you will find yourself backtracking and not able to move on. Pitfalls or obstacles are necessary. If you didn't have any pitfalls, you won't be able to truly uncover your potential. Pitfalls will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, which is a huge part of uncovering your potential. Do what you can to let go of the past. If you're having trouble, consider bringing it up at your next therapy session or ask a friend or family member for advice. There is no shame in making mistakes and needing help to get past them. Once you come to realize that everyone will experience pitfalls, you can seek encouragement and the help that you need to move along in the process. Be sure to join me next time for Chapter 8, Unlocking Your Potential is Not a Destination. In this chapter, I'll give you tips to stay the course and to cope throughout the journey of self-improvement that you're currently on. Thank you so much for watching. 